Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the mode of a data set. And the mode is the number that occurs the most. And that's how I remember it. Mode and most sound very similar. So once you have mean, median, mode, and range all mixed up and you're finding all of them, sometimes it's easy to forget which is which. So we need to make connections in order to help us remember. So mode equals most. They both sound similar and that's the connection we can make. So we're going to go through two examples here and find the mode in order to help you get this down. So let's jump right into number one here. And the first thing we need to do is take our data set and put it in order from least to greatest. So our smallest number in value is this two here. So I cross it off that way. I know I counted it and I don't skip anything or count anything twice. So after that, it looks like we have three threes. So one, two, three. Then we have a five, a seven, an eight, a nine, and lastly a ten. So just to, just to double check, let's see how many numbers we had in our data set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we double check that with our list to make sure they match. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we are good to, good to go. So our mode is going to be our three here. We have three threes, so that occurs the most. So mode equals three. So it's as simple as that for mode, whatever occurs the most. So number two, let's put them in order from least to greatest. So our smallest number in value is going to be this 73. Then we have, it looks like an 82. Then an 83. And it looks like four 87s come next. One, two, three, four. Then we have a 90. I'll go to the next line down here. Uh, two 90s, a 92, and a 93, and lastly a 96. So let's double check here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So they both match. So now we need to find which number occurs the most. And it looks like this 87. We have four 87s, so our mode equals 87. Now for numbers 1 and 2, we had one mode. It's also possible maybe all of the numbers just occur once so you might not have a mode that is possible and it's also possible to have multiple modes so for example in number two maybe we had four 96s as well so the mode would equal 87 and 96 so there are different situations as far as mode goes so there you have it there's how you find the mode of a data set i hope that helped Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.